morning. A doll. Hello. Hi, Slama Pagi. Good morning, Crystal. Pagabar Indonesia. Which part of Indonesia are you from? Alright, we're gonna start in a minute. Good morning, Pat. Good morning, good morning. Okay, let's begin. Yes, I do miss Indonesia. Okay, hello everyone, good morning. So, welcome to Pilates class, my name is Timo. Uh, it seems like it's a fixed schedule now, it's a, every Monday morning you spend uh, your Monday morning with me, hey? Alright, so we're going to do the live class today, which is Pilates. So, things that you need to know before we start the class. The first thing is, because this is virtual class, so I am not able to tactile you and then see you in person. So, I don't know uh, how's your body moving and then which uh, body part that you feel tight or you feel like you're unable to do it. So, please listen to your body. If you cannot do the exercise, feel free to stop or try to modify it to decrease the intensity uh, so you can keep uh, get the benefit of it. Yes. And then um, anytime you need a towel or drinks, you can stop, have a drink, have a water. Um, and then please check surrounding. You want to make sure uh, you got enough space for you to move, especially for Pilates class, it's quite easy. We don't really jumping around side to side, front and back. So, yeah, just be aware with your surrounding. Make sure when you swing your hand, make sure when you come onto your kneeling. Uh, you also need a cushion if you need to. You can use a mat. So if like me, I have a mat right here. So if you don't have a mat, uh, doesn't matter, you can use the floor uh, and then you're gonna need a towel for today yes so the towel is first to wipe your sweat that's right and then the second one is I want you to use this towel to assist you for some exercise yes uh, and then I'm gonna explain it later when we start the class if you have a yoga block that's good as well that's gonna help you to uh, assist some exercise as well and then let me explain to you what is Pilates so Pilates is a functional training exercise so you're gonna work the deeper layer muscle in your body so it's not just abs so you want to work deeper layer muscle in your abdominals it's not just your uh, shoulder blades you want to work deeper layer muscle in your shoulder blades and then you have to do some body awareness as well in this Pilates because it's very important in our daily activities, in our daily life. Sometimes we move, we don't really notice which body part and which the, which uh, muscle that we use to uh, do in our daily life. For example, picking up uh, a pen on the floor when you drop it. So really listen to your body. Body awareness is the most important thing. And also the last part of Pilates that is really important, which is breathing. And I'm gonna start the exercise with the ex breathing exercise. So everybody find a kneeling position or you can sit on the Japanese pose. If you're not comfortable, feel free to just sit down on the floor with a cross leg or you can sit on the block or on a towel. We're gonna do it right away. Okay, so choose your option. You can sit like a Japanese right here. You can just simply cross the legs with the blocks or you can sit on a towel. That's gonna help you to elevate your hip bone. That's gonna help you to sit a little bit taller, right? 
we're gonna start with some simple breathing exercise. So breathing is the foundation of the Pilates. So you wanna sit up nice and tall, make sure you're comfortable. There's three types of breathing that you normally do in your life. So the breathing number one, we're gonna to touch our belly. So this is the breathing that we use when we're resting or when we sleep. So when you inhale, try to pop your tummy out. And then when you exhale, pop your tummy in. Try again. So as you inhale, you're using your abdominal muscle to release. And then when you exhale, you bring your tummy flat. Try again, two more times. So inhale to your tummy. And then exhale. So when you inhale with your tummy, so you relax the abdomen and then all the organ inside your tummy. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, release. Good. The second one is a pump handle breathing. So put one hand on your chest and the other hand on your tummy. So pump handle is when you start to exercise and then you start to stand up and you want to activate your abdominals. So you want to really brace the abs and then your tummy stays still. You only move the front of your chest. So you're going front and back. So as you inhale, feel your chest coming forward and then when you exhale, feel your chest coming in. Let's do four more times here. So take a deep breath in and then exhale. So in Pilates, we call this pump handles. It's like you're pumping the water up and down, up and down, right? Inhale and then exhale. Take one more time. It's super basic, but it's so important. And then exhale. Good. Now the last one is a bucket handle breathing. So either you can hold your wrists from the side or you can hug yourself, but make sure you have your hands on the side of your rib cage. Yes, we call this one bucket handle breathing. So do you know bucket? The old fashioned bucket? You have the handle that you can take it from the side and you can hold it with one hand. So we're talking about this handle, right? So this handle is going up and then down. So when you inhale, feel the rib cage going out and up. And then when you exhale, feel the ribcage coming down and release. Try again. Inhale. So the abdominal is still still, right? Still steady. And then as you exhale, you feel your ribcage coming in and down. Give it three more times. Inhale. We also call this one a lateral breathing. So in Pilates, mostly we're using lateral breathing. Because normally we are in the flexion or we're in the extension and then our spine, our lungs need to move somewhere. So the side area is free, so it's going to use the side of your rib cage to help you move. Give me one more time, inhale, exhale, good. Don't forget that breathing, we're going to use that a lot. So everybody extend your legs forward. If you're sitting on the block, that's great. You can sit a little bit taller. If you are rounding your spine like this, what you need to do is you can roll your mat or you can sit on the towel. It's going to help you to sit a little bit taller, right? So what I'm going to do today, we're going to start with some spine stretch. So your feet are hip distance apart, hands forward. Take a deep breath in. Now as you exhale, round your spine and then reach your hands forward, not down, forward. Like you wanna reach in somebody's hand in the front. Eye gaze, look down. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, stack your spine one vertebra at a time. And your head is the last part. I'll show you from the side. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, tuck your chin in first. And then start to stretch your spine forward. So if you look at my lower back, it's super flat right here. Just stretch right there. Take a deep breath in. 
And then as you exhale, stack your fat spine, one vertebra at a time. And then come on to your sitting up position. Good. Try again. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, tuck your chin in. Good. At the bottom, you want to inhale to the side of your ribs because you already flexed. So you need the side of your ribs to help you breathe in. And then exhale, roll up. Good. Give me two more times, please. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, come down. Inhale at the bottom. And then exhale, roll up. Good. We're going to add on the twist. So everybody open your hands slightly wider. Now you want to make sure your hand is slightly forward. And then you can see your big thumb moving at the edge of your eye gaze. So if you're not too bad, it means you squeeze the scapula. Yes, so you want to relax the scapula down and then bring your hands slightly angle forward. We're going to twist to the right first, back to the middle, and then twist to the left. Good. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, if you want to uh, get rid of the comments, please swipe the screen to the right and then let the comment go on so you can see me clearly. And twist. Good. So inhale, always sit up. And then exhale, twist. Try again. Inhale. And then twist. Now we're going to put those together. So inhale, twist to the right. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, come forward into your spine stretch. So this is your saw. Imagine you want to touch your opposite toes. Take a deep breath in, in the bottom and then exhale, sit up. And then go to the other side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, roll up. Good. Try again. Inhale. And then exhale. Scoop your belly in. It's really good for your lower back stretch. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, come down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, roll up. Let's do one more each, yeah? Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. It's a combination of two planes. So this is your rotate. And then you flex forward. Yes. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. Good. Back to the middle. Bring your knees together, feet together. If you sit on the box or the towel, get rid of it. We're going to do rolling and then massage our spine. So cross your legs. Roll back. Roll up. Just three more. Roll back. Roll up. Roll back. Roll up. Oh. I like this exercise in the morning when it's really massage your spine. Last one, we're going to stay lying down and then we're going to do bridging. So open your feet on hip distance apart. Place your hands on the floor, relax the shoulders so you can open your chest, eye gaze to the ceiling. You can bring your heels closer to your butt cheek and then bring your knees into triangle position if you see from the side. Alright, take a deep breath in and then as you exhale, Peel your spine off the floor and then lift your hips up. Inhale at the top and then exhale slowly lower your spine down. Try again. Now remember the spine stretch. This is exactly spine articulation but we're going to reverse this one from the bottom. And then inhale and then exhale slowly lower down. So if your spine stretch you articulate from your head to your tailbone. This one from your tailbone to your head. Exhale, roll up. Inhale. Exhale, hide your rib cage. And then slowly lower down. Give me three more times. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. So bridging is really good to warm the muscles around your spine. And then get your spine ready for workout. 
Last one, please. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. I'm gonna go straight to the shoulder bridge. I know. It's a warm up, right? Lift your heels up. Everybody walk your heel, walk the ball of your foot closer to your butt cheek. And then lift your hips higher until you can anchor your hands underneath your lower back. From there, you wanna plant the heels there. If you cannot, you can walk your feet a little bit further away from your shoulders. Right, so what you're gonna do is you wanna keep your elbows anchored to the floor. Pick up your right leg up. Flex your foot going down, or your toes going up. Give me four more times. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more times. Good, one more time. Awesome, place the foot down. We switch other leg. Inhale, exhale. So open your hip flexors, but also it's a weight bearing on your hands. So you're warming up the muscles around your palm and your wrists. Last two. Last one. Good. Place the foot down. Slowly lift the heels. Release the hand. And then place the heel down and then roll your spine down. Good. Roll your wrist out and in. Okay, we're gonna do some abs. Everybody bring your knees above your hips. I need you to turn your knees out. Bring your feet together like a diamond shape. Hands in between your legs. Now we're gonna do crunch. So you're up and then down. Try again. Up and then down. So exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Good. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Now listen to the breathing. I'm gonna change the breath. You go up, exhale, inhale at the top, and then exhale, roll down. Uh oh, try again. Exhale up, inhale, exhale down. Inhale, exhale, go up. Inhale to the back of your ribs. Exhale, roll down. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, stay here. Exhale, roll down. Good. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. Inhale. Exhale, extend your legs. Stay here for a while. We're going to move the right leg in, out, and then back. Switch. In out and then back so this is your defalo pepase so if you see from here you're going to bring your right heel in out come back switch in out come back try again in out come back good so if you see my torso is super still my head doesn't move last four and switch left leg and three Right leg and two and one. Good. And then slowly release. Woo. All right. All right. Roll up. We're going to do some psychic series. So everybody lie down on the right side. And then use your right hand to support your head. Left hand in the front and then put your feet slightly forward so you can angle your legs slightly forward now hips are super still right your chest is flat imagine there's a wall behind you so back of your body touching the wall and then legs slightly forward your left leg up and then there try again up and there eight seven so keep your hips super still if I lift my leg too high, I'm gonna hike my hip to the back. Mm -mm -mm. So keep your hips still, just a little bit lifting. Up, and then down. Lifting the leg up, and down. Two more times, up. Last one, stay up and hold. Your bottom leg, up, and down. Uh -oh. Up, and down. Keep your hips still. 
Good. Use your abdominals to maintain your torso super still. Up and down. Four. Three. Two. One. Up and hold. Squeeze your inner thighs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Drop the bottom leg down. Kick your leg forward and then kick back. Ah. So when you kick forward, flex your foot. When you kick back, point your toes. Keep your body still. Inhale. Exhale. Three to go. Inhale. Exhale. Two to go. Inhale. Exhale. It's really good to lubricate your hip. So you're moving just from your hip socket. Stay at the back and hold. Point your toes, make a circle. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and reverse. Oh, you feel the glutes start to fire. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lie down on your right hand. We're going to do Deflope Passe. Turn your heels together, toes out. Point your toes, bring your big toes to your inner thighs, and then kick forward, flex your foot, going down. Try again. Inhale, and then exhale. Two more times. Inhale, and then exhale. Last one. Inhale, and then we're gonna reverse. So flex your foot, going up, leg straight. At the top, bend the knee and then touch your calf and your ankle like you're taking off your socks. Inhale and then exhale. Good. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Your hips are still still, yeah, and steady. Inhale and then exhale. Last one. Stay up and hold. We're going to burn the glutes. Bend the bottom knee. Bring your heels together. All right, this is your bend knee fall out. So knees together, knees wide. Wow, try again, knees together, knees wide. Two more time, in and then out. Last one, in and then out and hold. Kick your left leg up and then down. Five more, up and down. Four more, up. And down. Keep your hips square. Three. So your legs slightly forward. Two. Yes. Last one. Stay up and hold. Point your toes. Flex your foot. Point your toes. Flex your foot. Last four. And flex. Three. And flex. Two. And flex. One. And flex. Oh, and then slowly release. Woo. That was really, really nice. Okay. From there. <laughs> Let me check my memory. Right. So you're going to lie down on your back. We're going to do single leg teaser first. Alright. This is where you can use your towel. So if you need assistance, you can put a towel underneath your lower back. Right. If you're going to right leg up, hands above your head. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, circle your arms to lift. And then slowly lower down. Try again. Exhale. Shoo. Inhale. Exhale. Shoo. Inhale. One more time. Exhale. Shoo. Inhale. Switch. Other side. If you don't need a towel, don't use it. Shoo. Inhale. Exhale. Shoo. Inhale. Exhale. Shoo. Last one. Exhale. Let's try two legs. Inhale. Woo, it's hot in the morning. Exhale. Shoo. Inhale. And then exhale through your mouth. Use momentum. Good. Three more times. Inhale. And then exhale. Two more times. Inhale. And then exhale. One more. Good. And then face forward, we're going to do mermaid. 
So your right leg forward, left leg on the side. Now I want you to be able to sit down on your sitting bone. So if your sitting bone lifted like this, grab your top towel and then put it on your right butt cheek. Yes. So this is going to help you to elevate your hips. So your hips are level now and it's easier for you to sit up nice and tall. Inhale, exhale side bend to the right. Inhale, side bend to the left. Try again. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. So you want to keep everything underneath your ribs are still. So you only move from the rib cage and then side C shape your spine. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Stay on the right side and hold. Good. So turn your right fingers forward. Left hand reach up. Now keep your left sitting bone down heavy. Take a giant breath. And then as you exhale, rotate. Look underneath your armpit. Try again. Inhale. And then as you exhale, rotate your spine. Keep your left sitting bone down heavy. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale, rotate. Last one. Inhale. And then exhale. Good. Now I'm going to teach you the next breathing exercise, which is the posterior breathing. Now you're going to breathe from the back. Now you only can do this when you are in the flexion position and then your rib cage cannot move forward. So they're going to move to the back, right? So keep rounding your spine. Inhale to the back of your rib cage. And then as you exhale, scoop your belly. See if you can reach a little bit further to the back. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale to the back of your ribs. Exhale. Good. Bring your left hand up. And then side bend to the left. Count to the pose. Four. If you need to lean back a little bit, look up. So you want to press the left sitting bone down. So you're going to assist that to get more rotation. Three. Two. One. And then slowly release. All right. From here, bring your hands forward. We're going to come onto your kneeling position. Up. And then slowly down. Ah, I know. We're going to roll the hip flexors. So you've got to push the hips up. I need you to trust the hips forward. And then down. If your knee is too painful, you can let the mat so you can have more cushion. Stand up. And then slowly drop down. Or maybe bring your hands up if you wish. Bring it up. And then down. Good. Last one. Up. And then down. Good. We're going to stay up and hold. If you have a towel, take it out. Now you're going to turn your toes and then switch to the other side. Oh, if it's too hard for you, you can go on your knees. Yes? And we're going to do the same thing. Sit down. Put on your left butt cheek if you wish. And then sit up. And then sit down. Ah. Try again. Sit up. And then sit down. The idea is you want to lubricate the hip, right? The more lubrication, the easier for you to move around, plus less injury in your daily life. And then down. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Stay down and hold. Arms wide. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, to the left. Inhale. And to the right. Good. Take a deep breath in. Break that. 
So mermaid is also breathing exercise. So inhale to grow taller. And then exhale, see if you can side them more. Inhale. Last one, stay on the left and hold. Turn your left fingers forward, right hand up. Take a deep breath in, open your chest. And then as you exhale, look underneath your armpit. Keep your right sitting bone down heavy. Try again, inhale up. And then exhale. Three more, inhale. Exhale. Two more, inhale. Keep your right sitting bone down heavy. Last one, inhale. Exhale, down and hold, stay here. So inhale to the back of your ribs. Remember the posterior breathing. And then as you exhale, go a little bit further, reach back. Two more, inhale. One more. Good, bring your hand up. And then side bend to the right, count to the pose. Try and lean back a little bit so you can open up the front body and then you do the side bend. Press your right sitting bone down more. Last four, three, two, and one. Good, lie down on your left side. Let's do side kick series. Ah, there you go. <laughs> That's the secret. Okay, bring your legs slightly forward angle. Flex your feet. Right leg up and then down. Up and down. So remember, hips are still. Do not hike your hip to the back. Four, three, two. Last one, stay up. Your bottom leg. Feet together and down. Up and down. So this one is a little bit hard. So you really need to squeeze your inner thighs together and the glutes. Two more. Last one. Good. Up and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lower the leg down. Kick forward. Kick back. Good. Flex your foot. Point your toes. So try it. Don't lean back when you kick forward. Don't lean forward when you kick back. So don't compensate. Use your abdominals to keep your body super still. Two more. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Stay at the back and hold, please. Yes. Make a circle. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, reverse, eight, seven, six. Oh, that one's square, not circle. <laughs> Is it circle or square? Are you sure? I got triangle once. <laughs> three, two, one. Lie down on your left hand, then follow up and pass it. Turn your toes out. Touch your inner thigh, inhale, and then exhale. Three more, inhale, and then exhale. Keep your legs long and strong as you go down. Last one. Good, reverse. Flex your foot going up. Point your toes, come in. Three more. Two more. Last one, stay up and hold. Good, bring your heel together, knees out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Normally we did this on the lie down position. This is your bend knee fall out. Good, last one, stay out and hold, kick up and down, here we go. Six and five, keep your hips square, four, kick slightly forward, Three, and two, last one, stay up and hold, point, 
and flex, boing, and flex, and four, and three, and two, and one, and slowly release. Ooh. Ouch. All right, face to the floor, hands on the shoulders. Let's do one, one, and two. So roll your spine up, take a deep breath in, and then breathe out, slowly lower down. Good, two more time. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Last one, inhale, stay up and hold. Let's swing forward and back, here we go. Down and then up, down and then up. Push the floor, inhale, exhale. Or you can reverse, exhale, inhale. Last five, and four, keep your legs straight, three, and two, and one, and then slowly sit back to your child. Woo. Okay, stay on the elbows, we're going to do something new today. So elbows on the shoulders, knees under your hips. Make sure you have a nice distance between the elbows and nice distance between your knees. Right? We're gonna move the right leg first. Extend your right leg back and back down. Same leg. Out and in. Two more times. Keep your hips still so do not open your hip. Last one, stay up and hold. Are you ready? Tricep press. Bring it up. And then down. Oh, try again. Up. And then down. Two more. Up. And then down. Last one. Up. And then down. Listen. Bring your left hand behind your lower back. Uh oh. Focus your eye gaze to the floor. It's going to help your balance. Tricep press, up, and then down, ah, three more times, up, and then down, two more times, up, and then down, Whoop. last one, up, and then down, let's switch, other side, knees down, left leg, here we go, out, and in, out, and in, three, Two, keep your hips square. Last one, stay up and hold. Two hands first. Lift and then drop. Try again. Lift and then drop. Keep your eye gaze to the floor. Up and down. Two more. Up and down. One more. Up and down. All right. Right hand behind. Push it up. Four times. Here we go. Four. And then. Three. And then. Two. And then. Last one, last one, guys. Up. And then down. Woo! Place the hand down. Place the knee down. And then sit back. Nice. Feels good. All right. Everybody. Come into boomerang now. Uh, I know, right? Before boomerang, we did roll. So we're gonna do rolling like a ball fist. So I need you to find balance on the back of your sitting bone. Right? From here, you're gonna roll back, switch the cross of your legs, sit up. Try again, roll back, switch the cross of your legs, sit up. Try again, inhale. Switch the cross, exhale. Try again. Inhale, switch the cross, exhale. Come again. Inhale, switch the cross, exhale. Two more. Last one. Good. Place the hands down. We're going to do roll over. Take a deep breath in, lie down. Bring your legs up and then switch the cross of your legs. And then slowly roll down. 
roll up, find your teaser position, and then circle your arms, and then come down, keep your legs crossed. This is your spine stretch. So combination, some exercise that we already did today. Place the hands down, roll back, and then come back to your roll over. Everybody switch the cross of your legs. And then slowly lower your spine down, and then sit up into your teaser. Circle your arms down, and up, and then lie forward into your spine stretch. Use the breath, inhale, hands down. Exhale, roll over. Inhale, switch the cross. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, teaser. And then exhale, come down to your spine stretch. Let's do two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Down. Try again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, and then exhale down. Let's do two more times, guys. Inhale, exhale. Switch the cross. Lower down. Lift it up. Open the hands. Dying swan, come down. Let's do one more time. Inhale, exhale. and then come down. Good. Cross the legs. Everybody roll back, roll up, plank pose. Uh-oh. Are we doing plank? Yeah, we haven't done plank. Come forward, cross your legs, roll back. Try again, cross forward, plank. Cross forward, roll back. Three more. Land soft. Two more. Woo. One more. If you don't want to jump plank, feel free to drop one foot at a time. Stay on the plank and hold. All right, shoulders above your wrist. Feet hip distance apart. Turn to the front. We're gonna do star. Stack your feet together, hand beside your pocket. Lift arm and leg. And then down. Three more. Inhale. And then exhale. Two more times. Inhale. And then exhale. Last one. Inhale. And then exhale. Quick turn, switch, look to the back. Inhale. And then exhale down. Try again. Up. And then down. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale, place the hands down, feet down, lift your hips, inverted feet. Whew. All right, from here, walk your hands back, and then roll your spine up, come onto your standing. Heels under your hips, bring your hands up. Let's do some balances, lift your heels up, and then drop your heels down. Two more time. Up. Last one. Up. Stay up and hold. Now I need you used to all your toes. So if you collapse your ankle like this, like me, you need to use your big toes and the ball of your foot more. So do not collapse the ankle out. So this is really good for your ankle stability, right? Use all your toes to grip the floor. You can close your eyes or you can look up. Eight, seven, six, five, lift your heels higher, four, three, two, one, and then heels down, and then slowly release. Oh. How are you doing, guys? <laughs> Thank you so much. For joining the class. 
All right, just a little information. So the live class still on. For today, we have Latino Jam later at 5 p.m. with uh, Susan Suarez. Oh. So if you want to still uh, work out at home, feel free to join the class. Or maybe you can bring your phone to the gym and then do it at the gym, right? I'm gonna stay here for another one minute before I signing out. If you have any question, feel free to write the comment below or you can send me a message on Facebook or Instagram. Hello, Janet, thank you. Thanks, Lolo. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks, Keiko. I hope you guys have a nice day. It's a good way to start the Monday. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. There's a lot of love. Thanks, Vivian. Thanks, Lolo. Thanks, everybody. I hope to see you again next week. Bye. Thanks, Joan. <laughs> Thanks, Joan. Master Chef, yeah.